sis. I think we're going to like it out here. You know, this Western life. I hope so, Jack. At any rate, it'll be better than what we left back east. This is a stick-up. Everybody out, but the young lady. Whoa, whoa. All right, driver, come down from there. All right, gents, unload your cash and family jewels. I can use that. Drop it in the hat. Nobody asked you along, and we don't eat until we get to that rodeo and win. Win, did you say? Why, Tomain Pete is supreme! Unchallenged, the greatest of them all! I think you're a lot of bull. Are you telling me? <laughs> It is a runaway. You sure had a narrow escape that time. I'll say I did. <laughs> say, I'm glad I was there when that stage rambled by. Now tell me some more about this holdup. There's nothing more to tell, other than the bandit seemed very nervous and kept a long black cape drawn up around his eyes. Say, I'll bet that's the Phantom Bandit. And you know, there's a thousand dollars reward for him, dead or alive.
Well, I guess we better take the stage back and pick up those stranded passengers. I think so, too. I'm worried about my brother. That's right. Uh, by the way, uh, Bill Collins is my name. And yours? Ruth Rogers. How do you do, Miss Rogers? How do you do? I'm glad to know you. But where are you going? Well, my brother Jack and I are bound for Canyon City. I'm going to teach school there. You teach school? Why, silly, of course. <laughs> well, fine. That's my sidekick over there. Notice oh. how suspicious he looks? <laughs> he does look suspicious, doesn't he? <laughs> Yes, he's a true reflection of strength and character. <laughs> I want you to meet him. All right. Miss Rogers, I want you to meet the one and only Tomaine Pete. Why, how do you do? I'm glad to know you. <laughs> <laughs> Tomaine, I'll tie the horses to the back of the stage coach here, and you get up in the driver's seat. We're going back to this hold-up scene. Hold-up? Did he say hold-up? Yes. Where are the bandits? Why, Tomaine Pete is the greatest boulder thrower. I mean, uh, b -b -b Bronco Buster. <laughs> My mistake. Why, I bust them wide open. I am the greatest in this world. Why, I bust them wide open. You do. Phantom bandits of black cape. <laughs> Tomaine annihilates them. Oh. There. Well, what do you mean, annihilate up there? I must tell him who you go. I am, you know. Well, wait a minute there. How do you expect me to get up here if I'm getting thrown all over the place? Where do you expect to go? Phil, did you ever see such a beautiful girl before? Only once. Where? Arizona. <laughs> That's quite a long way from here. <laughs> Hey, Bill, look, Aquapura. The last one in is a heel. Not a bad idea, Tomaine. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Be nice and cool in there, eh, kid? Oh, boy, for the old swim in the briny. <laughs> till I try out the water. It's too cold. Look, Bill. The Phantom Bandit. And our clothes. Hey, you. Hey, come back with those clothes. Look. Hey, bring back those clothes. Well, looks like we're in for it. You would have your swim. Go ahead, go ahead, blame me, blame me, go on. Come on, let's start hoofing it. <sighs> well, it's going to be much healthier hoofing it, I'll tell you that much. Well, any old port in a storm, you know, and it isn't my pride that's hurting me. Oh, stop grumbling. Come on. This is much healthier. It's a buckboard. Oh, that will be ducky wucky. It's a woman driver, too. I hope not too far, us and our BBDs. 
Okay, behind the bush. All right, let's go. Hey, baby! Will you give us a lift into town? Sure, hop on the back. Oh, no! Back on our own resources again. Are you telling me? Oh, oh, if I could only rest my poor aching feet. Oh, stop. Walking. At last! Uh, does Mr. Uh, uh, Rogers live here? I, I didn't quite get you. Pardon us, does uh, Miss uh, live here? You'll pardon me. I didn't get you very well. Pardon us, stranger, but we can smell bacon sizzling. How about a handout? Oh, yes, yes. I get you. It ain't much, but I'll share it with you. Well, come on in. Yes, but you must lead the way. Me here? Yeah, why not? I never sit with my back to the door. Oh, that's, that's right. Sit down there, then. Well, let's have it. Hey, a few monkeys want to eat. Come on over here and set the table. Come on and get it. Hey. All right, Tomain. I'm the guest. Oh, is that so? All right.
As a rule, when I'm eating, I generally go mad. <laughs> Pretty hot out today. Boy, I'll say it is. Nice day for a swim, too. Mm, headed for Canyon City? Well, yes. Providing you will return our clothes to us. And our... <laughs> well, the joke's on me. We'll go into that later. But uh, I'll return to you, providing one thing. Meaning what? Strictly business. See, we are exact doubles, like two peas in a pod. Yeah, so I see. Very well, then. As you no doubt surmise, I'm the Phantom Bandit, sometimes known as the Mask Rider, the White Outlaw, a few other pet names. They're all one and the same, with a price on my head of $1,000 cash, dead or alive. Is it okay to talk private in front of your pal there? Well, any proposition you have to offer must include my pal here. I'm an honest prospector by profession. The other is merely a sideline with a purpose. You two look to me as though you were merely romancing bucking Rodeos and picking up whatever you can here and there. As we are exact doubles, as we look like twins, I can use your services. I can pay you well. Town of Canyon City, I am known to practically everybody as an honest prospector, Jim Russell, with a rich claim back in the hill. During the past 30 days, I've been watched and trailed by a gang of killing claim jumpers. And for that reason, I postponed my weekly trips to the mine, grew this beard, and resorted to the Phantom Gang. The one I fear most is Buck Houston, the pirate of the El Dorado Saloon, who will stop at nothing to gain his own ends. You will spend four days and nights circulating the best you can. Sunday noon, I'll meet you here and settle my obligation. You will never regret it. It sounds interesting and worth looking into, I guess. 
Do they know you with or without the whiskers? Smooth shade, without the whiskers. Like your part there. It's agreeable. I'll get you an outfit like mine and you can start tomorrow. Okay. You can uh, keep that lighter as a token of our new friendship. Thanks. you must be. <laughs> We're paid to dance, you know. Yes, I know. The old school teacher gag has been pulled on you, just like a lot of other girls. And that makes me more determined than ever to... <laughs> Buck Houston sure has been keeping his eye on me for the last four days. Oh, he's just jealous. He hates to see me talk to anybody but himself. No, that isn't it, Ruth. It's something else. I'll see you at the rancho. All right, but be sure you have everything fixed. Don't worry. You got everything set, Hank? I'll pick up the rest of the boys a little after midnight. Say, I was thinking it'd be a good idea. Well, never mind your ideas. Oh, I was, I was just thinking. Who asked you to think? Yes, all you've got to do is to open that combination for us. Now, do you get it? Oh, ain't, ain't I got something to say? Listen, 
You're gonna do what we say, or I'm gonna smack you in the nose. Do you get it? Okay. Now, you fellas got your horses and know exactly what to do, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Yeah. Fine. No, I haven't. Use my lighter. From Ruth to Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get yourself a box of matches? Here, here, here! Cut that out! Cut it out! Now get out of here! You've been sitting around here all night. But I, I just had to rest. Yeah? So I noticed. You've been hanging around that prospector all evening. But he's only been here a few days. Yeah? I noticed he'd only been here a few days. That's why we give the regulars a break. Now go ahead and grab yourself a cash customer. But I... I... Oh! So they're not in your class, eh? Now get busy before I forget that you're a woman. Now, just a minute, Hank. Miss Rogers can dance with whoever she wishes to. Why, certainly. Thank you, Mr. Houston. Don't start anything, Bill, or you'll ruin all our plans. Beat it. You're welcome. Come on. I haven't seen you since last night. Russell. You're not leaving, are you? Yeah, for a little while. Uh, by the way, Jack, uh, don't forget what I told you about. I've told you that I really am grateful for what you've done for Jack and me. Well, why don't you let me do more for you? Why don't you let me give you everything in life that is really worthwhile? What do you consider worthwhile? Well, my love for one thing and everything that goes with it. Well, let's not go into that again. I'm quite happy as I am. And I, I really love dancing. You'll excuse me, please. Say what's Houston but sad for you. Same old line, huh? Mm -hmm. The chapel says. Doing fine, Hank. Just keep riding her. Why, well, I'm always at your service. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, get busy. I can't go on. I'm sick and I'm not used to this sort of work. You heard me. Get on that floor. Sis, say what's going on here. She can't leave a partner in the middle of the dance floor. Oh, yeah? She's all in and she's going home. She does, she loses her job. Oh, yeah? I came to see you about my brother. It's a pleasure to set my hungry eyes on you again, Ruth. Really, Mr. Houston, I'm worried about him. Well, uh, why? Well, something he said to me about an hour ago. About these henchmen of yours. Oh, that uh, they might lead him astray? I realize that he's a grown man. But this is no place for him. Or me either, for that matter. So he slipped out on you again tonight. Hm. I've offered you a way to save that no account brother of yours, and the offer still stands. Well, I'm tired of this racket, too. Why don't you be sensible, my dear? Please. Please. And they're at the rancho now. Go and get them. Thanks for the tip off. Somebody's beat us to the loot. Maybe that foreman, Mason, or Jack Rogers has double-crossed us. It wasn't the foreman. Well, I, I must be going. Yeah, but you, you think over what I said? It's no use. Jack and I will get along. Why, you little fool! Do you <laughs> Hello. What? In the safe, it was stripped clean. Do you know who did it? Sure. We know who it was. Why, the dirty thief beat us to it. And... Sounds like the posse's coming. Come on, get to the horses. Well, your sweet brother just pulled a nice one. What do you mean? He overheard the gang talking about that rancho robbery. Pretended to be with us. Then he pulled off the job himself and tipped off the sheriff. I don't believe he would do such a thing. No? Well, if he's double-crossed us, you know what that means. You're just trying to frighten me. Oh, you think so, eh? And I tell you, he went to the sheriff. I never did like him from the minute he rode into town. I told you that. And you wait till he shows his face. Well, are you sure the sheriff didn't double back on your trail? I don't think so. Oh, hello, Rogers. Hello. Could uh, I borrow your lighter, Jack? Sure. Is this it? 
dead. Where did you lose it? Well, I don't know. You uh, didn't happen to drop it in front of the safe at the rancho, did you? Why, no. Where is the stuff? Well, I haven't got it. Ah, come clean. What did you do with it? Why, Ruth, what are you doing up so late? Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Bill. My brother's in another jam. Ah, oh, cut out the bluff. This isn't getting us any place. Tell me what you did with the stuff or I'll break your neck. What'd you do with it? I tell you, I don't know. You don't know, huh? I will protect you. Well, I'm going to get in that fight and you watch me annihilate them. Now watch me. A nice mess for the corner. Oh, I do hope Bill got away safely. Oh, he got away all right. But what I'm worrying about is how are you and I going to get out of here? So am I. The fellows out there will never let us go. Say, uh, you know where I might find Miss Rogers or our brother Jack? If I did know, I wouldn't tell you. Much obliged, buddy, for your information. I'm so glad you're safe, Bill. I've been after Houston and his gang, but at daybreak, I lost their trail. I guess the sheriff is after him now. I saw him right out with his posse this morning. You two come up to the cabin with me. You'll be safer there. But, Bill, those men out there. Well, we can try anyway. What do you say? All right, Bill. Now, you two stay in back of me. Come on. I know everything that happened, but uh, did you get the guy that got ahead of you at the safe? Did we get him? <laughs> if he's still alive, he's lucky. <laughs> I suppose you turn him over to the sheriff to get that thousand dollars reward. Say, what are you talking about? Well, the reward for the phantom. That's the guy you caught, isn't it? Father for him, I'll figure he's done for. I guess you're right, Dick. But I'd like to collect that reward or get a hold of that rancho loot. 
There's Ruth now. Here's your big chance. It's Houston. You two ride to the cabin and I'll hold these guys off. Hurry up. Are you hurt? Say, are you Bill or are you the Phantom? Speak to me, Bill or Phantom. I'm lost, I don't know which is which. feel better. so hard. <laughs> He'll be all right. What happened, Tomain? Oh, he rode in dragging from his saddle. I helped him in and he hasn't said a word since. Bill! 
Oh, Bill, I'm glad you're here. Don't worry, Ruth. It's me. I'm not a ghost. Bill, I'm hit hard. I guess it's my time to cash in this time. I wouldn't say that, Jim. We'll get a doctor for you. No, Bill. Stay right here. I know this is curtains for me, but I want to tell you something before I go. It was me that busted the rancho safe this morning. It was Buck Houston that got me. And, Bill, you'll find the money right under the bed. But how about Jack Rogers' lighter they found in front of the safe? I stole it from his room early this morning before I tackled the rancho safe. But why implicate Jack? It was the only way I could even scores with Houston. While up at my mine, I uncovered another rich vein, pure wire gold. And I want you to have it, Bill. It, uh, it will be a wedding present for you and the girl. You boys remain here. I'll trail Houston and see what he's up to. All I want now, before I die, is to get Buck Houston and take him along with me. Come on, stick him up. Get over there. Get over there. Come on down here, you two. <laughs> you thought you had me fooled, didn't you? What's going on here? Why, this is Buck Houston. You're right, Sheriff. Well, who's that? That's the Phantom. He and Houston had a long-standing feud. I guess they fought it out for the last time. <laughs> it looks that way. Just a minute, Sheriff. I have something for you. And here's the money the Phantom took from the Rancho safe. I guess that clears up everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, it'll... Saved the county a lot of expense and time for another trial. Besides, you've got a thousand dollars coming to you for finding the Phantom. I guess we can use that thousand dollars 